my channel. So today I am here to film for you my July favourite, which is Come Round Incredibly Fast. It's quite scary actually that we're now at the end of July. I really don't know where this year is going and I know I say that every month, but genuinely I do believe this year is probably the quickest year ever. So yeah, I'm going to just do the same as usual. I'm just going to talk you through my favourite things in each category for this month and what I have been absolutely loving using. And I've got a few little bits and bobs to show you, some of which are new and some you might have seen in like tutorials and on my photographs and things like that. But I just want to basically talk you through them and explain to you why I've been loving them this month. And yeah, so let's crack on with the video. Okay then, so firstly, I want to talk to you about the beauty category of things that I've been loving. And I've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six products to talk you through this time, which is more than usual because sometimes I kind of narrow it down. But this time, I just wanted to tell you about everything that I've been loving. So the first product that you have seen me use absolutely loads in this month's like makeup tutorials and summer tutorials and things like that is actually the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturiser, which is like an amazing gel formula moisturiser, which I am obsessed with. It smells like oranges, so it's like super duper fresh, which I love about summer moisturisers, but also this one is just, it's not oily, it doesn't make your skin feel overly hydrated, it's just really nice for my already quite oily skin, and I just really love it. It feels like you're not doing anything harmful to your skin either, it's really amazing. I think this retails at about £28, I use this once a day, and it's amazing. I'm about halfway down now, which makes me quite sad, but I do absolutely love the Origins moisturisers, this one is literally, yeah, halfway and I just love this so if you too have got oily skin and are struggling to find like a moisturiser that helps your skin rather than makes it more oily then I definitely recommend trying this one because it's absolutely amazing next is another product you will definitely have seen in some of my makeup tutorials this month and it is the L'Oreal Infallible um, Fixing Mist which is an incredible makeup fixing spray and it's just amazing I spray this on my face every single day without fail and I even use it before go to work and things like that so that my makeup doesn't come off all day and I do find it actually makes makes my makeup so much more longer lasting and also stops like your eyeshadow creasing and things like that things which just genuine generally just don't look very good by the end of the day but yeah this retails at I think it's eight pounds which I think is pretty incredible considering when you buy the Urban Decay ones and things they're roughly around 20 pounds I think something like that maybe even more so this considering how good it is the price is amazing and I couldn't recommend it enough honestly you'll have seen me raving about it in all my makeup tutorials and things like that because I just love it so much but yeah I would highly recommend getting your hands on this if you're looking for something that really does keep your makeup well in place the only thing I will say is you need to give this a really good shake before you use it because otherwise it leaves like a salty sort of looking residue on your face and it doesn't look too good so I would just say that remember to shake it really well before you actually apply it. Next is a bit of a random product which you've probably never heard of before but I thought I'd mention it because I absolutely love it and it's a product I actually got given at a recent event and I just wanted to mention it to you because I just feel like they should have a bit more recognition and people should definitely be out there buying their products because they're really really good and it is the Ami, I think that's how you say it, Ami Naturally Kind Petal Perfect Gentle Cleansing Micellar Water and as I say it's just micellar water but it's a really lovely one like it smells beautiful Obviously it smells like flowers, but it, to me it just smells so fresh. I absolutely love taking my makeup off with it. It's a part of my like makeup routine now, That well, my cleansing routine that I really love to do, and it's purely because I just love using this product. It's literally got the bottom little segment left, which makes me really sad because I absolutely love it. I'm not entirely sure how much this would cost to buy because I kind of got it gifted to me when I went to an event recently and I've used it and I just love it so much. But I will leave the link for it below anyway so that if you guys want to purchase it, you can head over to the website and check it out because this is amazing. And I've also got a couple of their other products to try which I've not got round to yet but I'm excited to try them if they're anything like this one. So yeah, it's just an amazing piece of water. I just basically pop it onto a cotton pad and take my makeup off with it every single night. And even on the morning when I wake up and my, my face just doesn't feel that fresh, Fresh. This is just amazing just for a freshen up. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be really sad when I've used it all because it's just so good. It's probably my favourite micellar water I've used so far as well. And that's a statement and a half right there. Next, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of Illa Masca products that I've actually been getting my hands on. And I've also mentioned that Illa Masca isn't really a brand that I have really uh, bought into much over the years or like recently at all. But I went to an event um, at Meadow Hall in Debenhams recently and we were talked around the sort of vegan product and I did a blog post about the whole thing anyway so if you want to go over and check that out I'll also link that below as well so that you can go over and see what kind of their products are and what that event was all about. But basically they kind of gifted us two products to give a little try and I actually got one which I was so pleased about because I was actually thinking I was going to purchase it and it is the Illamasqua's Matte Veil and you've probably all heard about the veils. 
um, from Illamasqua. There is a hydration one, a matte one, and a radiance one. So depending on like what you like your skin to be, whether you like it to be glowy all the time, or you need, it needs extra moisture, or it needs to be mattified, you can get a veil slash primer, whatever you want to call it, to um, do that for your skin. And obviously on top of that, you then apply your foundation. Now I've been giving this matte one a little whirl over the last couple of weeks. And I have to say, I'm converted. It is amazing. I'm always on the hunt for like really good primers. I don't actually have any full sized primers that I use on a regular basis. I used my body shop one up completely. So now I'm kind of just working my way through little samples of ones like this to find one that I actually think I really need to buy that because it's amazing. But Primers now are kind of a step of my makeup routine that I literally cannot miss, like I need to wear a primer. For me it's just like an extra bit of something to keep my foundation in place throughout the day. And now I seem to have a lot of things I actually use to do that. Um, but basically I just love this, it mattifies my face, it's perfect base for foundation and I just like, I love that matte look. For me that is everything, like I, that's how I wear my makeup every day, I wear makeup that is purely for that matte look and this to me is just perfect I absolutely love it I'm definitely going to be buying the full size one really really soon but I just love this and it comes out and it smells amazing it smells like like sugar plums or something it just smells incredible and I just love it I think the full size one retails at about £32 but again I'll link it below for you to check out as well and another product I also picked up from Illamasqua is actually the Precision Ink Eyeliner in I think it's like Abyss which is black this is also colour true and waterproof, which is obviously an amazing element of it. You want a waterproof eyeliner, you don't want it to come off or budge at all. And the nib of this is just amazing. Like I do my eyeliner with this pretty much every day now. It's like a staple for me. But the nib is just perfect. It literally just sweeps across the eyelid just perfectly and creates that perfect wing. I've used it in loads of makeup tutorials here on my channel already and I've only had it two weeks. And I just love it. I actually have never owned a high-end eyeliner before, so to me this is pretty special because I never really thought there was much point to buying into more of an expensive one when I know that my drugstore ones are so good. But now I've been completely converted and I absolutely love this. It's an amazing eyeliner. So if you two are like eyeliner obsessed and wear like winged liner all the time and have to wear liquid eyeliner, I would highly recommend this one. It's really, really good. Finally, the next makeup beauty product that I wanted to talk to you about is actually a new one as well, but I just used it and absolutely fell in love with it. So I thought I just had to mention it in my favourites this month. And it is my sleek highlighting palette in Sol Solstice? Solace? Souls. I can't pronounce that to save my life. But basically, I'm sure you guys have seen people raving about this palette all the time. It is the ultimate sleek highlighting palette. It's incredible. I'll open it now and quickly show you it. This is the packaging, which has got my fingerprints all over it, but it is amazing. And then inside is, I'll just take the little bit from Bob's out. Four beautiful shades of highlight, which are like this. So you've got a pinky one, another pinky one, a peachy one, and then a yellow sort of toned one. I'd say yellow, it's more gold actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, there's like a cream one here, and then you've got three powdery consistency ones. And honestly guys, these just go on beautifully. I actually bought this palette like a week ago now, and I've used it a couple of times, and the colours just literally glide on to your face and leave the most beautiful highlight ever. I think I actually popped a Snapchat up about it when I first used it. So if you have me on Snapchat, you will have seen that. But if not, then please go ahead and like follow my Snapchat. My link's on screen now, so be sure to add me on there because I'm always showing you like the products I've been loving and things throughout the month without it being a favourite. Yeah, this one like retails at about £10, which is amazing. And it's so good. And obviously you get four products in there, so that is pretty good value. I just absolutely love that. I'm taking it away with me definitely next week. Next, I'll quickly just talk to you about a couple of the fashion pieces which I have been loving wearing this month. And the first one is my Topshop Aviator sunglasses, which have literally been a staple item, especially through the hot days this month, because I think you see my ring light in there, like somebody's crazy eyes, doesn't it? These are just absolutely amazing. I love wearing them. They're so comfortable and they just look amazing, obviously. Just love them. You can see my ring light as well, which is awkward. But yeah, they, they were £10, I think, from Topshop, which I think is pretty good. And they're just like the perfect sunglasses, really. Everyone needs a good pair of aviators. They're just a staple accessory. And next is another item that I just wanted to show you. You might have seen it on some of my blog posts and also on my Instagram Snapchat and the usual things like that. And it's actually this Primark dress just here. And I will also insert a photograph of me wearing it now so you can actually see what it looks like. Midi length dress. It's blue and white striped. 
as you can see and it's just amazing I love this dress it was about five pounds from Primark and for five pounds it's going to get so much wear out of it it's really versatile it's really comfortable it's really stretchy it's really good material and just generally five pound for a dress like that you literally can't go wrong and I've already worn it once and it's coming away with me next week so it'll be like really easy just to throw on top of things and that and I couldn't recommend checking out Primark for their like dresses and things for summer enough because literally you can't go wrong at spending five pounds on a dress like that is pretty amazing so I just wanted to briefly mention that one because I've been loving that dress and then next is another product which I actually don't have with me because it's in the wash at the moment I have um, recently just been to my boyfriend's graduation which was just yesterday actually and I wore a next dress which I will leave a photo of now because I wanted to briefly mention it because I just love it so much it was the most beautiful structured fit dress probably something that I would not normally go for and it certainly doesn't look like it's something that I would imagine to be from Next. I do love Next clothes, but usually it's not somewhere I'd usually look for a dress, if that makes sense. And it's a beautiful structured fit with like metallic sort of patterns on it um, in gold, blues, whites, etc. It's just stunning. And it was just the perfect summer dress. It was the most glorious hot day for Simon's graduation. So like it just went perfectly with that. I wore it with some nude shoes. And yeah, I just absolutely loved it. So I will definitely, definitely link that one below for you to check out as well. I also put it in my um, most recent summer um, haul video. I actually did a try on and things with it on there. And I did mention I'll be wearing it for his graduation. So I'm really pleased I had the chance to wear it. It was a lovely dress and it was like nice fitted and just perfect. So really loved that one. Now, as usual, the next category I want to talk to you about is actually a photograph. So the photograph that I've been loving for this month. And obviously, as I've just mentioned, it was actually Simon's graduation this month. And the photograph that I have chose for this is actually one from his graduation, which is just this one here of myself and him, just because just really to show you the graduation side of it, to be honest. And yeah, this is probably my favourite photo of the month because it's a really big occasion and it was a lovely day. It was beautiful, sunny weather. So yeah, I would definitely say that this is my favourite photo of the month. We just look really, really smiley and it's just a proud moment, you know. So yeah, why not share this photo with you all? I love it. Which brings me on to explaining what my favourite event of uh, the month was, which was definitely the graduation because, I mean, it was just such a proud day. He's worked so hard for it. And it was just nice to see him like graduate, I guess. It's like a proud moment. He's been at uni for five years and he's worked solidly for that long. And he does really, he really does work hard. So he deserves everything. And yeah, I couldn't have been prouder. Unfortunately, I didn't vlog the day or anything like that. It was all a little bit hectic. And we got some photographs and things, but it was just kind of like, it was all just kind of like very family orientated and getting a vlogging camera out probably wouldn't have been the most appropriate thing in the world. But yeah, it was just lovely. So that would definitely be my favorite event of this month. It was just such a lovely day. Next is my favorite TV program of the month. And this one was actually quite a hard one, but I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to go with the same one as last month because it did actually run into the first couple of weeks of July and it's got to be Love Island again. It's just hands down for me. I'm already so sad that it's over and I wish it was like starting again next week, but unfortunately it's next year. And it was just like a really, it made me look forward to coming home on a night and just chilling and watching TV. Like I just really loved it. And obviously being involved in other people's drama and lives and stuff, which is on the TV. I just enjoyed it. I just really, really liked the violence. So I'm definitely gonna say that that was my favorite TV program of July. So I definitely need to find something else to get addicted to, but Towie's back now. So I've got a feeling that that might be next month's book. We'll see about that. And now quickly leading on to my favorite blogger of the month. I've just got a text message. Leading on to my favorite blogger of this month will probably have to be Amy Hughes, just because I need to mention her again. She's the best. She's absolutely amazing. She's obviously one of my really good friends from Sheffield and I couldn't rave about her enough. She's just the best. So I want you guys to all go over and check out her YouTube channel, which I'll also leave below and her blog, because honestly, she's always doing hair tutorials. She's a hairdresser by trade. So you need to check her out her tutorials for like some fantastic like ways to dye your hair, ways to style your hair. She's just amazing. So I couldn't recommend checking out her channel enough. Just go over there and subscribe to her. She's amazing. And now quickly to round off, I'm just going to leave this video right here now. I cannot believe that that is my July favorites all done and dusted. I am absolutely terrified of how fast this year is going. I want the summer to last forever, so I wish it would kind of slow down. But yeah, so I will just leave you guys here now. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up for me. That always means the world. And subscribe to my channel as well. Just click that little button down there, guys. And don't forget to leave anything in the comments below for any suggestions of videos you'd like to see really soon. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye. Mwah.